There is much antagonism to God's Word and the work of the church in the climate that we have been called to minister. Over the past years, gender has multiplied from just male, female, and neuter genders to so many genders that today, some people don't know what they are. Marriage, originally designed for male and female, is not the only way the society accepts anymore. Homosexual marriages have been legalized in scores of countries all over the globe. Jamaica comes under tremendous pressure to bow, but by God's grace, we still stand. The odds that are against God's church are too numerous to elucidate, but in keeping with the calls of the General Conference and the Word of God, we went out reaching families and equipping them for better relationships here and for God's eternal kingdom. The focus of the Family Ministries Department for the Quadrennium was family togetherness, and the theme was Kingdom Ideal for Family Togetherness. The structure provided by the higher organization was the main medium through which spiritual growth and unity was facilitated. Our major activities included Family Togetherness Week, Christian Home and Marriage Week, Men's Day of Prayer, Parenting Convention, Singles Convention, Men's Convention, and Family Life Seminars. The department organized three major conference-wide family life events this quadrennium. The first was a parenting conference held at the Palmer's Cross Seventh-day Adventist Church, April 18, 2015. The year 2016 was a year when we celebrated our men, the massive men's convention that was held at the Mandeville Seventh-day Adventist Church on October 29, 2016 under the theme, Men of Faith and Fortitude. More than 1,500 persons converged on the Mandeville Church grounds for that event and more than 750 were men from all over the conference. Men's Ministries has seen phenomenal growth conference-wide this quadrennium. The National Singles Weekend Retreat was held at Camp Verley, September 8 to 10, 2017. Over 200 singles, 18 years and older, booked into our Camp Verley cabins for the weekend and more than 800 singles were in attendance on the Sabbath. Our keynote presenter was Dr. Jeffrey Brown, Associate Ministerial Secretary of the General Conference and author of the book, Single and Gifted. At the beginning of this quadrennium, Dr. Willie Oliver and Mrs. Elaine Oliver, Family Ministries Directors of the General Conference, hosted a couples convention at Northern Caribbean University Gymnatorium, Mandeville, under the auspices of the Jamaica Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. More than 2,000 couples, 700 of whom were from Central Jamaica Conference, attended the event and countless others participated in their churches on Sabbath, February 7, 2015 from across Jamaica. This was to send a message to the nation that marriage is still between a man and a woman in the heights of alternative lifestyles. Conducted over 2,000 counseling sessions during the four-year period, 2014 to 2018. During 2017, there was an apparent increase of cases of brief counseling. This was in line with increased bloodshed and mayhem in our country. Counseling services were offered by the director at two offices, at his office at 58 Brunswick Avenue on Monday afternoons and Fridays, also at the Spanish Town Seventh-day Adventist Church office on Wednesday afternoons. All counseling sessions were free and available to both members and non-members alike. The Family Ministries Department partnered with the Youth Ministries Department to establish a counseling hotline where several professionals were enlisted to utilize the available technology on the telephone to provide professional help to the youth. We also partnered with the Community Services Department to provide professional help to back-to-school affairs, among other events. There were some cases that created shockwave and needed urgent intervention from the conference. This quadrennium, the director and or one of the volunteers' counselors assigned gave attention to mass murder, suicide cases, and tragic deaths in the Kingsland, Mandeville, Palmer Cross, Raymond's, Linstead, Gregory Park, Portmore, and Orangefield Church Community.
An average of 50 family life officers were trained at either our conventions or conference called officers training programs for the first three years of the quadrennium. During 2016, the Family Life Department also partnered with the Personal Ministries Department in the International Institute of Christian Ministries program and certified 56 Family Life educators across the conference. The Family Ministries Department of the Conference's work of monitoring and promoting the supporting ministries to the Family Life Department, including Men's Ministries, Couple Ministries, Single Ministries, and Senior Citizens Groups across the conference was done. The Director was personally involved in two evangelistic programs this quadrennium as speaker. These were at the Gregory Park and Bannister Churches. A total of 25 persons were baptized in these programs. In 2015 also, the director produced and distributed more than 200 copies of the Issues in the Home Family Life Seminar, which is a CD comprising of 15 family life presentations for crusades and seminar type events. During this quadrennium, all major stated objectives were met. However, there are a few challenges that the department faced that should they be eliminated, more could have been accomplished. With the retirement of Elder Anthony Gordon, who was a full-time counselor to the conference, a void was created which was difficult to fill due to the other responsibilities of the director. The limited budget of the department did not allow for more than one major conference program annually. Some consultations and training programs that required financing had to be curtailed. Nevertheless, I praise God for his wonderful works during the 2014 to 2018 quadrennium for all that has been accomplished in his church. It was my joy being your servant in this quadrennium. God bless you.